Maka's guides. <laughs> Hey guys, Maka here, starting off with some Hitman 2 videos. In Hitman 2, you can also play some Hitman 1 levels. I have guides for those. I'll link them down in the description below. Feel free to check them out if you're playing some of the Legacy levels. But hopping right into Hitman 2, we're starting off the game in Hawks Bay. This is the tutorial level, and it is a pretty small and simple level. I don't even know if they really technically count it as one of the main levels. Now what we're going for is we're playing on Master Difficulty, we're using the default setup, making sure we get a Silent Assassin suit only run. So that means we have to stay in our suit the entire mission, we have to kill our target and only our target, our target's body cannot be found or it must be an accident, and we cannot get spotted during our run. And if we do get spotted by something like cameras, we do have to erase the footage. So I'm going to be doing the default spawn here, spawning on the beach and running up to the house. I did pick up the screwdriver from the beach house in order to be able to hack this little circuit right here. There is a camera kind of directly above me, which will sometimes spot you, sometimes it won't, depending on your timing. And that is A-OK -okay because we'll be erasing all of the footage. Now once you go inside, take the first door on your left. That'll take you into the main room. And from the main room, we will now want to go upstairs. We'll probably get caught by another security camera and go into the office right at the top of the stairs. You can interact with a painting on the wall right here in order to find the secret panic room. Now, inside of the panic room, we can do a bunch of things. I would recommend that you pick up both of the fragmentation grenades. We will be using them in a certain scenario, so I'll, I'll pick them up just to have them. And then I'll also pick up the USB dongle, and I'll also erase all of the footage off of the um, cameras here. So another thing you may notice if you're playing on Master, you've already played on Professional a few times, is that in that room, there's usually more stuff, and there is uh, it's missing some stuff. So it's missing a lockpick. It's missing a couple of uh, weapons that are uh, kind of higher caliber, so I think there's like a shotgun and a submachine gun in there sometimes. Those aren't going to be in there, and you are definitely not going to get the lock pick either. So I will be showing you how to get the house keys so you can navigate your way through the house once we need it. Now, once you do hack the computer, uh, Alma and all of her guards will come home. And at that point, all you want to do is stay upstairs and sneak towards her washroom. And I will recommend that you pick up this squeaky toy just so that you don't accidentally step on it as you're trying to leave the mission. Then what you can do is hide inside of her dressing room closet. So once we're there, we're going to want to now just wait. And there's going to be a guard that comes by. This step will be optional. When the guard comes by, feel free to hop out and pacify him. So make sure you don't have your fiber wire equipped so that you're only knocking him out and not killing him. And if you do that, make sure you pick up the body, uh, drag the body, and hide it into the closet. And then make sure you pick up his shotgun off the ground, or else they'll obviously see a shotgun there. And, uh, you know, that's pretty suspicious when there's a, a random shotgun lying in the middle of your bathroom floor. So here comes the guard. I got into the habit of taking him out, even though you don't need to. If you don't want to, you don't have to. Feel free to use your save if you're a little bit on edge. So I'm gonna hop out, I'm going to subdue him. I do not have any type of lethal weapon equipped, so he's not gonna die. I am now going to drag him into the closet. I'm gonna make sure I don't accidentally disguise myself as him, obviously. And I'm going to pick up his shotgun and I'm just gonna put it on my back. And at this point, I'm going to now go back into that same closet. You don't have to do this step, but there is a chance that he sees or hears you later on in the level. So better be better to be safe than sorry. At this point, you can now go back into that same closet we were in. And essentially, you're going to wait about two or three more minutes from this point on until Alma and Sean um, come into the uh, area here. And at that point, uh, I'll kind of come back with commentary on what to do. But as she does come up the stairs, I would highly recommend you use your one manual save. On the master difficulty, you're allowed to save one time per mission. And for this mission, since it's pretty short, I would recommend doing it pretty much right before you go for the assassination.
So now that she is in the room, you'll notice her partner comes and joins her and she'll walk from the right to the left and she will stop at her bedside and kind of move her hand. This is her actually taking her keys out of her pocket and putting them on her nightstand. And then they will now both come into the uh, closet here. They'll both get undressed for their shower and uh, they'll have a little bit of a conversation you can try to follow. Uh, what ends up happening is he actually takes a shower and she ends up brushing her teeth. We're going to use this opportunity to our advantage. So once they clear this room, what we want to do is we need to do two things. We need to grab the house keys and then we need to actually assassinate her and hide her body. Now, depending on your timing, you can do these in any order, but I would highly recommend that you go for the house keys first as the shower does need to fog up or else he will be able to see you through the glass. So I'm going to show that happening on screen as soon as it's ready. As you can probably tell, Hitman is definitely a game of patience, uh, especially in the tutorial level here. So they will now go to the washroom, like I said earlier. You want to leave out of the closet and stay crouched and go into the bedroom and pick up the house keys. Watch out, there is a squeaky toy near the bed that you might accidentally step on. So pick up the house keys. You can pick up the file too if you want it. And now you can go to the washroom and equip your fiber wire. Make sure that the washroom, uh, the, the shower window is fully fogged up. You can now choke her out with the fiber wire. You can shoot her if you want. Uh, but whatever you do, make sure you do drag her body to the closet. The reason they use the fiber wire is it goes straight from a kill to a drag. You don't have to snap their neck and then drag them again. So you can do that a lot faster than any other technique. Now, after you do that, make sure you leave out of the bathroom window, get onto the balcony and use the door right next to the window. This will allow you to sneak right straight through to the panic room. And now once in the panic room, you can make your way downstairs, equip your coin and throw your coin into the corner of the garage in order to distract the guard. Now, once that guard is distracted, you can make your way back to the boat. Uh, the boat escape is pretty simple. Just make your way from grass to grass, making sure you blend in and don't get spotted. Uh, you won't have the exact same pattern like every time, depending on your timing. So if your timing is slightly different than mine, make sure you adapt for that and don't just follow me blindly. Um, so watch out for any guards that can see you. And then there are two things you can do on your way out. I'll kind of explain them as we get there.
The mercs have discovered your boat, 47. Now, once you reach this point, you can pick up a piece of driftwood in order to distract the guard. This is actually a missable secret achievement slash trophy. I believe it's called Trawl Beach or something like that. So pick up the driftwood and throw it. You can use your coin if you want to distract that guard and then make your way from uh, bush to bush. Watch out. There are guards on the left and right that can see you. So you kind of have to stick in the middle. Now, at this point, you can do two things. You can take out your pistol and shoot the back of the SUV in order to blow up the gas canister. That's one option, but I don't really like that option. Instead, what I like to do is pull out my fragmentation grenade, which I picked up off of the wall inside of the panic room. And I'm going to throw that fragmentation grenade in order to uh, attract the guys that are near the boat that I need to escape with. So I'm going to get that guard out of the way. Uh, in order to get to like the closest bush to the boat and then what I'm gonna do is equip my frag grenade right here I'm going to throw that frag grenade onto the beach here as far away from the boat as possible right after I throw it I'm going to sneak from bush to bush and the frag grenade will blow up and then these guys will go and inspect it now I threw mine a little bit close to the boat so the escape here uh, gets gets a little bit tight but if you threw it a little bit further than me, uh, it should be no problem. Just exit the mission, and you should get around 30,000 XP if you did it right on Master Difficulty without getting spotted, seen, staying in your suit, getting Silent Assassin rating. This will easily take you to Mastery Level 5 for this level and get you the Silent Assassin rating. I, As you can see on the screen, I have all of those challenges unlocked. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. Special thanks to the amazing people on Patreon for supporting the show. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.